I now may call the honourable member for Warrawa. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to make my contribution to the Water Amendment Restoring Our Rivers Bill 2023. The Albanese Labor government is working to ensure that we pass on Australians' environment, our land, sea and rivers, to future generations in better health. We're acting to protect, repair and manage nature so it grows stronger. That includes managing the water resources of our most productive region, the Murray-Darling Basin, to withstand longer and deeper droughts, more frequent floods and bushfires, and everything else that climate change will throw its way. Irrigated agriculture in the basin product in the basin produces about 15% of Australia's food and fibre, contributing $8.6 billion to our economy every year. The basin is valued for its productivity and also its beauty, and tourism is worth $11 billion. It's home to 2.3 million Australians, and more than 3 million people drink its water each and every day. It's home to 16 internationally significant wetlands, 35 endangered species and 100 di 120 different species of water bird. The Water Act 2007 passed with bipartisan support and the Murray-Darling Basin Plan in 2012, adopted by the Australian Government and all basin states, sets the amount of water that can be taken from the basin each year, leaving an environmentally sustainable level for the rivers, lakes, wetlands, plants and animals. The Water Act and the Basin Plan set two re water recovery targets. Firstly, a target of 2,750 gigalitres to bridge the gap to long-term average sustainable diversion limits. Secondly, a target to recover 450 gigalitres of additional environmental water, a condition of South Australia's support for the plan. These works build on cooperative works to save rivers pushed to the brink by the millennium drought. 